Materials are the building blocks of the objects we encounter every day. From the chairs we sit on, the cups we drink from, to the shoes we wear, they're all constructed from a variety of materials. Common materials include metal, wood, glass, plastic, ceramics, fabrics, and rubber. In this video series, we'll take a closer look at each material, where they come from, their general properties, and their uses. Metals. Metals are materials found inside the earth. They are typically located in certain types of rocks and are extracted through mining. Once extracted, the metal is purified through various processes, often involving heat to separate it from any impurities. Once purified, the metal can be shaped and used for many purposes. Metals are known for being strong and hard. This strength and hardness make them perfect for building structures like bridges or skyscrapers, making tools that need to cut or shape other materials, or even creating protective gear like helmets. Their ability to change shape without breaking is due to two properties, malleability and ductility. Malleability means a metal can be hammered into thin sheets, while ductility means it can be pulled out into long wires. This allows us to have everyday items like thin aluminum sheets or copper wires in electrical devices. Additionally, metals are great conductors, letting heat and electricity flow through them, which is why they're common in electrical devices and cookware. Sometimes, people mix different metals together to give them even better qualities. These mixtures of metals are called alloys. Alloys often have new properties more suited to their intended use. For example, mixing copper and tin gives us bronze, which is stronger than either metal on its own. Aluminum, copper and zinc are commonly mixed to make aluminum alloy. The alloy is commonly used to make boats whereby the metal needs to be strong and also withstand corrosion. Jewelry and many of the metals used in the construction of airplanes are also alloys. Thanks for learning. Check out the other videos in this series to learn about the origin, properties and uses of some other common materials. Bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe.